We do have someone who's uh, calling a race before it's officially been called, and we want to check in with Elliot Polikoff, who is uh, live with a take. We'll take a look. Um, he just spoke with Congressman Greg Stanton. I am here with Representative Greg Stanton, and Greg, I know you just declared victory here in terms of the count. You're up by over 30,000 votes. I mean, what's your initial reaction to how things went out here tonight? Well, we worked very hard to earn the trust of the people of Arizona District 4, which included a lot of the new district that I previously hadn't represented. We worked hard to go out and earn every vote, Republican vote, independent vote, and Democratic votes. Obviously, the numbers show that uh, we were supported overwhelmingly across the board, and I couldn't be more ecstatic. And now we roll up our sleeves and we get right to work. The redrawn District 4, how is it similar? How is it different from the 9th District? Well, I'm the former mayor of Phoenix, but most of Phoenix got removed from my district and they added much of East Mesa. So now I'm lucky enough to represent all the way to Power Road in East Mesa. And certainly that made it more electorally more challenging. Uh, it made it a much more Republican district. But you know what? I like that challenge. I'm a bipartisan guy. I operate in a sincere bipartisan way. That's the way I always have operated. I always will operate. And to see these overwhelming numbers tonight is really gratifying that the, the people of the community saw that and know that I'm going to work for all of them, regardless of political party. I know that it's early in the election results right now. I know you're planning on heading to the headquarters downtown in Phoenix. But what are your thoughts so far on the results you've been keeping an eye on here in our state? Well, it's, it's too early. Look, for most of the other races that, that people are paying the closest attention to, it's too early. There's going to be another uh, uh, release of information in a, a few minutes, I guess, now, for where we're doing this uh, interview. So we'll know a lot more. So, um, you know, I've got a lot of good friends and people that I respect that are on the ballot, and I'm hoping they do all do very, very well uh, because um, they're good people and they deserve our respect. What was your message to those in attendance here tonight just moments ago when you declared victory? Well, look, we know that these are tough times. We know that inflation is really hard on people. Now, my opponent tried to use that as kind of a cudgel, and I responded by saying, I understand. I come from a working class background. My dad sold shoes at JCPenney for 35 years. I didn't grow up in a family with a lot of money, so inflation affected our family. The question is, what are you doing about it? Are you willing to take action to try to lower prices? Are you willing to uh, uh, take action against the oil and gas companies that are engaged in the uh, price gouging? And so I think the, the, the people of the district knew that in a sincere way, I was going to work on their behalf, uh, even on these most challenging issues. Representative Greg Stanton declaring victory over Kelly Cooper, up over 30,000 votes. Of course, we will keep you updated throughout the night on all the big elections going on across the state. For now, I'll send it back to you guys. All right, Elliot, thanks so much. So to be clear, we're not declaring this race just yet, but Congressman Stanton feels that this lead here, 63 to 37 percent over Kelly Cooper, is enough for him to feel comfortable to say that he believes he did win this race. Though, Dennis, uh, he, you know, won a couple races in Phoenix. That was pretty easy. Then they redrew the boundaries. He's in District 4, which leans not quite so progressive, right? No, no, it's a little bit of a less, it's less progressive of a district, uh, you know, and it encompasses a lot of Tempe. He's, remember, he, you know, he was really well known in Phoenix. Um, they thought maybe this might be a little bit of a, a vulnerability here yeah. for mm -hmm. Stanton running this year, but clearly he's taking care of business tonight with Kelly Cooper. Again, not our job to be calling the elections. Yep. We're not calling this election. Greg Stanton's not waiting. He wants to probably go home and get a good night's sleep. But I think with this kind of a lead, he can sleep pretty well knowing um, that you know he's on his way to a good outcome and one that he wants. And Kelly Cooper.